Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Wasil Bay, baby. And we are sham stoppers. You know what I'm talking about? And um we like to reserve and assert our United States constitutional rights, freedom of speech, and everything that rides with that. Um We're gonna talk about your baby mama. You know what I mean? We're gonna talk about the bitch. Your baby mamas are mentally disabled. Alright? They're mentally handicapped. Alright? And the reason why I say this is because The bitch take her funky ass down there and sign you up for a service, right? So she can lay on her ass and lie and say it's for the children. Well, you and I both know child support is tax-free money. So when you get off work, before you see your whole paycheck, somebody already put their hands in your paycheck. Right? Right? Fellas, it's not the agency, it's the bitch. The agency is the snake in the garden, aka the state, who entices her. And a woman has a mind of her own. She has equal rights now. She knows right from wrong. Well, she knows from, you know, she knows better. When she signed you up for those services, she just had have declared war on you and your offspring and your legacy. Fellas, what's up on your legacy? Do you know what legacy mean? Huh? Are y'all going to leave a legacy behind? I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all something. Rose Siggins is a rare kind of woman. Cars, trucks, V8 engines, and all things automotive are her great passion in life. She's had an oily wrench in her hands ever since she started playing in her dad's toolbox at the age of three. Rose also only has half a body. But that's not stopping her from rebuilding a 1968 Mustang, which she plans to race. Any barrier set in front of me is just an obstacle, um, and it's a challenge to me. It's a challenge for me to overcome it. People have asked me, how do you deal with your disability? How are you so strong? I mean, for me, you know, this is my reality. This is my normal. So for people to say, what's it, you know, do you ever miss not being normal? I don't miss it at all. <laughs> I don't miss it because this is what I know. So for me to wake up in the morning and to know what it's like to hop out of bed and put your pants on one leg at a time, I have no concept of it. I mean, for me, you know, that would not be normal at all. If you take a Barbie doll and you take both of the legs of the Barbie doll and you snap them off, the region that is left is, is what I have. So I have all the female working organs. You know, everything works the same. Um, the only reason that I'm kind of sit shorter or I'm, I'm a lot compact, as people say, um, is because I'm missing like four sections of, of my spinal cord, which doesn't really give me the proper lift that I need. And uh, a lot of it is just supported by muscle. Rose may only have half a body but is determined to live as a normal woman in her hometown of Pueblo, Colorado. And Rose has her own unique way of doing things. 
the coolest thing that my parents did for me is is when I turned 16, my parents actually went out and bought me. Oh man. So you mean to tell me before I go off? You mean to tell me that your baby mama got two legs, two of everything, and going down there begging? But this woman, let me get my point out. God damn it! Let me get my meat stick. Let me rewind this shit. Well, now let me talk about it. She is in a goddamn truck with no fucking legs. You hear me? And your baby mama bitch ass running down now. Right? To the child support office. Why this woman ain't got no legs. She running to go look for work, making money, and driving now. You know what y'all need to do? When you see your baby mama go outside her goddamn head. Real talk. Because this makes no earthly sense, man. You got a woman on here. On a skateboard. Jumped in the car. Wait, I'm going to let y'all see this again. Hold up. Hold a fucking minute. Is, is what I have. So I have all the female working organs. You know, everything works the same. Um, the only reason that I'm kind of sit shorter or I'm, I'm a lot compact, as people say, um, is because I'm missing like four sections of, of my spinal cord, which doesn't really. I'm gonna leave it right there. A lot of you dudes need to be ashamed of y'all, sir. Look, your baby mama ain't shit, man. Okay? We can learn all the laws all we want to. But your baby mama is the corporate. She is the problem. She is the problem. She is the problem. A lot of dudes is going to jail more and more now on the day. That's when it get tough and tough because you guys have sat around like for three years. And kudos, shouts out to the guys that came on the podcast who who stopped by. Shouts out to the guys who not falling for this okie doke. Look, look at her, man. Look, ain't got no legs jumping in there. You know what I mean? What's your baby mama's excuse? The child is not an excuse anymore. That's the title of this video. Children are no longer an excuse. Okay? Children are no longer a excuse. No way for child support. Okay? Stop using these fucking children as scapegoats prostituting the children. Okay? For him, but you said something oh, to me yeah. before the show that a fan. okay, a fan. But you want to know what? Well, you encourage men to lie to women. That, like, say you have two screenplays at DreamWorks, or right. tell them you're a doctor. You pad your resume, yes, because any woman who sleeps with a man because he's a doctor or because he's a screenwriter deserves what she gets. <laughs> was love it wouldn't matter what we did for a living now would it no. did you hear what he said that bitch never loved you you know what i mean look at this I'll give you all this your baby mama don't love you man never loved you okay 
So hey fellas, if you're tired of the bullshit, the excuses, using children as an excuse, you hit us up, man. You know what I mean? We get results. We got results over here. And look out for the podcast tomorrow. I'll put it up tomorrow. Alright? She needs to stop using the children as an excuse. And if y'all hear a little beeping in the background, just ignore it. That's your imagination, alright? Hit us up. Peace.